Hey, what's up, guys? This is King Vox, and today we're going to be doing that podcast that I told you guys about. Now, this podcast is going to be anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Um, the topic of today's podcast is MMORPGs. Um, do you think that they're still alive? Do you think that they're dying? If you think that they're dying, you can comment down below. Um, you know, what do you think about any of the subjects that we're going to be talking about today on MMORPGs. Now, if many of you guys know me, you guys know that I've played just about every MMORPG out there. Um, that's kind of my thing. I like action RPGs and I like MMORPGs. But as far as MMORPGs as of late, um, I think a lot of us have been kind of feeling like trying to fill this void we've been looking for a mmo rpg that meets all the aspects that we want in the game and it hasn't been easy finding these things it hasn't been easy at all you know it's getting to the point now every time a new game comes out everyone bands wagon to it and i don't know about you guys but i'm really tired of wasting so much money <laughs> I'm really tired of wasting time, you know? What do we want out of an MMORPG? Are they not supposed to be like, you know, we go and, and we play it and we find a character or a class that we can immerse in and we actually play this class and we play it relentless, you know what I mean? We put hours and hours and hours into these class that we wanna play and the game as well and we hope for the developers to continue to create content so we can continue to live out our dream on this game and i know that sounds crazy for a lot of you guys but when mmorpgs when i first got into mmorpgs you know on the level of i would say like world of warcraft just like you know these big games um i feel like everyone that comes from world of warcraft are kind of like spoiled kids. It's kind of like you have to adventure away from World of Warcraft. And I would say pick Guild Wars in this state as well. People that play Guild Wars 2 and that has been playing Guild Wars 2 for a long time are kind of spoiled. And we forget how good we have it, you know, to have a game that has these active patches and have content continuously coming out all the time you know there's i remember playing games like ion where it would take two years for us to get an update and it, the game is packed for some reason and i remember playing games like dragon nest just like you know really enjoying some of the classes on there and seeing a bunch of classes come out in korea and it's just like it's heartbreaking to see content come out and then you know you're not going to get that content for a year or two and, you know, I, the reason why I'm saying stating all this is because I feel that we're spoiled. You know, I feel like right now people aren't will never be happy with anything that comes from World of Warcraft or Guild Wars 2. Now, Guild Wars 2 and w World of Warcraft have so much content. I mean, most expansions of those two games have more content than most other MMORPGs. And Black Desert is starting to get to the point now where they're a big giant as well. So now we have three MMORPGs to play, but a lot of people are conflicted, you know, and they can't find what it is they're looking for. They have this void in their, their heart. And we're stuck in this state now where we're just always looking for the next best thing. Instead of enjoying what we have already, you know, we're always looking and looking and looking. We're like, oh my goodness, I can't wait for something new to come out or this and that, whatever. But in all this time, Guild Wars and World of Warcraft has been putting out, you know, small content patches that have been, that's had more depth and more features than majority of these other games put together. Um, when's the last time you guys felt that a uh, MMORPG, you know, was out and, and the developers put love into it or had a passion for that game rather than just like trying to make a quick cash grab? And also, while we're while we're talking about that, let's talk about the whole free to play model. Now, I'm someone that really believes in you know subscription based MMORPGs. And Guild Wars has kind of been like that exception for me. Guild Wars has been that MMORPG that I have just fell in love with. 
like as much as I love WoW. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm really biased with World of Warcraft, and there's a lot of people that cry and complain about how bad World of Warcraft is. But the truth is, most of the people that cry about the game or talk trash about the game has never played the game, um, to like fully fully play the game and enjoy the game and actually, um, you know, put put away their whole bandwagon mindset and actually give the game a fair shake, you know, to understand how polished and how well and how great the game actually is. And it's the same for Guild Wars 2 as well, you know, not until Bless did people on my channel even respect when I put out Guild Wars 2 videos. If you guys go look on my channel, I've been putting out Guild Wars 2 videos for quite a long time now, and it wasn't until the you know, the whole uproar of Bless that when what happened was people were very hungry for a new game. And when they didn't get that, they looked anywhere for it. And a lot of people fell on Guild Wars 2, which is great, they, you know, that a game like that gets some spotlight because it definitely deserves it. It's one of the only free-to-play models out right now that actually doesn't have any pay to win, you know. Um, my only downside for Guild Wars 2 for me is no gear progression and i know a lot of people can look past that um i have looked past that to play it you guys have to understand i've played the game um probably a month after it came out you know and i've been playing ever since so like i've been in the game since since you know the early days and seen the game grow to something very beautiful you know they it's the only game that has these living world updates which are kind of like a continuous of um, really raw content. I mean, like, I couldn't imagine coming up with a whole new storyline or whatever for people. And I know there's a lot of people out there that just aren't satisfied with anything and that bash everything that Guild Wars does. But you guys, you really have to get out there and see what's available or whatever and understand how lucky we are to actually have these two games and the platform, and I, I, I know a lot of my fans are Black Desert, but I feel like Black Desert isn't yet up to par with these other games because there's still major aspects that are left out of Black Desert. And one of those things is PvE. And a lot of players that come from console, they don't really understand the difference um, between PvP and PvE and stuff like that. Like, they don't really get a full grasp. And um, I, for example... Um, a while back, I was explaining to a BDO player, um, you know, the, the good things about Guild Wars. Well, they were asking me them, and I was telling them that the game has really great PvP, and they had told me that they'd rather play, they would rather PvP on League of Legends if that's what they wanted. And I just, you know, you know, you, you, you know what I mean? It's this new generation that kind of doesn't really understand genres and doesn't understand MMORPGs and a lot of people don't know that Black Desert considers itself a MMORPG and although it's growing right now it lacks something that a uh, old school player like me needs and that's why you guys haven't been seeing too much Black Desert content um you know as far as Guild Wars Guild Wars has dungeons it has fractals you know, and it also it has a strong PvP scene as well. So when I get sick of one type of gameplay, you know, I go on to another. And another thing is, um, I think I was talking to some people about this last night, and it was on the topic of classes. Like, MMORPGs really aren't coming out with any new classes nowadays. If you look at games like Terra, if you look at games like... Um, I wouldn't say Arc Age because I think Arc Age does a pretty good job of like making new classes and new ideas. Um, but there's a game that came out. I think Blade and Soul just came out with a warrior. And I was talking to some people about it the other night. And it was just funny to me. My statement to them was, you know, I don't want to hear anything about a game that's been out for more than, you know, five years that are just coming out with such a basic class such as the warrior. Like, these are classes that should be either included in the actual launch or to never be made at all, you know? Um, in every MMORPG, there's always your generic mage, there's always your generic warrior, you know, your cleric, 
um, your ranger, your assassin. These are the classes that we come to expect. And if a game is going to kind of like set a bar as far as like class creation, you know, and not have those when the game pre previously, when a game launches, then I feel like they shouldn't add those classes in later. I feel like they should continue on their create creator creaticism or whatever. You know, you guys get what I mean. Like they could continue on their um, you know, idea of their game and and just like really capitalize on being different if that's the route they're going to go. Especially, it's just weird that a game like Blade and Soul would even add a warrior i mean like i'm i feel like their version of the warrior is like the big guy with the axe or whatever the berserker type guy i mean essentially he's a warrior to me but i mean that's just my opinion on a thing um guys make sure to like and comment if you like this style of um video and i will do a lot more of these later and they will be on different subjects and stuff like that also feel free to make a subject suggestion down in the comment section below um this is kind of like i've never done this before um i guess i kind of do this all the time in my videos where i just talk about certain topics but this is the first time i'm actually making a podcast um per se so um i hope you guys enjoyed and this was my first take at it um love you guys peace out have a blessed day